हाय गाइस वेलकम टू सीए फाइनल एस और एस सेल्फ पेज पेपर समटाइम्स अ क्वेश्चन बिकम सो बिग and this one is one among them it's a case study based question and that is whatever you should be expecting in exams also now such questions i try to use my imagination and i try to be making them most interactive for you all these are big questions whereby there is a question set that is there and based upon that lot amount of questions will be asked in fact this is a pattern i guess that is now going to be there for all the subjects also do consider joining our telegram channel for all the updates in case you want to buy our complete course link is there in the uh, description you can simply click join it the lectures will automatically start absolutely no human intervention required and once you all have enrolled you can please like you know watch the lectures from your uh, laptop or your uh, android app or the ios app anywhere okay monday you can watch on the laptop the other day you can watch on the android app so on and so forth okay we are doing a chapter called as specialist cost management techniques as i told it's a case study based question i'm taking to be very honest good effort so therefore i can simplify this entire subject for you and that is whatever has been my intention we were the first one in india to be doing this subject completely we did not give any old lectures to anybody SMP has changed and that is what we wanted to be doing same thing i'm trying to be doing for ca inter also whereby we are trying to launch the subjects at the rock bottom prices for everybody okay i just want that the best concepts only reach the students and whereby the students are not trying to mug up there are a lot of things to mug up let at least the subjects which i teach are only based upon concepts and nothing else this subject teaches you how to be doing business okay and uh, let's start it off with a question now so the question for today is big question art decor is a marble sculpture making company based out of jaipur rajasthan it has been making miniature figures small statues okay for past many years it now plans to foray into making larger size statues that can be displayed in gardens resorts or large corporate offices as a trial it has asked its main designer raj to come up with an appropriate design model that would appeal to uh, such customers there is already a competitive market for such large statues chalo theek hai so we were making smaller statues now we are thinking to be entering into the market for the larger statues which can be displayed in the gardens up and so on raj is a designer okay he has come up with a model for such kind of statues apart from that there is a competitive market so there are there are other players also who are there however the management of art decor has a skilled artist like raj who can come up with attractive designs for the customers within the month raj has come up with the appropriate design j is a product manager remember their roles please raj is a artist okay the main designer or something and j is a product manager who likes the design but wants to price it competitively in the market the cost for 200 such statues is given below let's look at that cost designing cost is 5 lakhs direct material cost is 20 lakhs direct manufacturing labor cost is 25 lakhs variable manufacturing overhead is 20 lakhs fixed manufacturing overhead is 5 lakhs and marketing cost is 10 lakhs i have done the total that was not there in the modules so therefore that is 85 lakhs okay let's try to be seeing the questions now now this cost i have put on the next screen in a shorter way on top so therefore it is there with us the target profit required is 25% of revenue okay so we want 25% of revenue as a profit if the selling price per statue is 45000 what's the target cost per statue now you will require your calculators please so please keep your calculators handy with you at this stage now mcq number 1 you could have been there in 10 standard also you would have answered it correctly so we want our selling price to be 45000 okay there is a target uh, price okay target price means we think that at 45000 customers will want to buy a product but in that we want our profit also our profit is 25% of revenue so what's the target cost get me the four options please 33750 36000 42000 and 56250 this is the easiest one pick up your calculus get the answer comment please with the answer okay 
okay pick up your calcis that i'm also doing so 45000 in this case is your selling price minus 25% so answer is 33750 that should be your target cost over here okay so therefore a should be the correct answer okay so i'm explaining it how that answer comes whatever you did on your calcis it should be something like this target selling price is 45000 from there subtract your profit 25% of 45000 is 11250 Target cost in this case becomes 33,750. So that's how your correct answer A comes. A should be the correct answer. Okay, so first MCQ is all together done. Let's go over to the second one. Now that cost structure is still there on your screen. Let's read MCQ number two. What's the cost estimate per unit? As per the cost information given above. Okay, so 45,000 per statue. 42,500 per statue, 30,250 per statue, 43,000 per statue. Easy question. Total of all those numbers was 85 lakhs. Pick up your calcy, get me the answer. Okay, so I guess it is super simple. Total cost was 85 lakhs. For how many statues, beta? 200 statues. So therefore, your cost per statue is 42,500. So out of the four answers, B should be your correct answer. Yeah, that is your correct answer. That's it, MCQ number uh, two. So one thing, MCQ number one told me my target cost should be 33,750. But currently, my cost is 42,500. Yeah, my cost is very high. Let's proceed. MCQ number three. Given your calculations in A and B, has the target cost per statue been met? Okay. Yes, the estimated cost is lower than the target cost. Okay. B. No, the estimated cost is higher than the target cost per statue. I have already told in case you wish to be commenting, please do that. Okay. So, if you all try to be thinking that uh, your target cost was 33,750, part number one. But your actual cost was 42,500. You wanted your cost to become 33,750 beta. It is 43, so 42,500. So therefore, target has not been met. So therefore, target met is no. So out of the two answers, B should be your correct answer. The actual cost or the estimated cost is higher than the target cost. Okay. So that was MCQ number three over here. MCQ number four now. During the course of discussion, Jay, the product manager, found that Jay was a product manager, Raj was a designer. Raj, Raj, not Raj, Raj plans to use high quality marble for these statues. Okay. Jay suggests that he use a lower quality marble for the statues. So Raj is thinking to be using a uh, high quality, but Jay is thinking, no, no, no. Let's try to be using a lower quality material. Why? Because this will reduce the material cost by 60%. So material cost, if you see above right now, it is 20 lakh rupees. Okay, he wants to reduce it by 60%. So therefore it will become 8 lakhs. Skilled labor required will also be reduced, resulting in direct manufacturing labor cost to reduce by 50%. Check your direct labor cost. It was 25 lakhs, will reduce by 50%, 12 and a half lakhs. Accordingly, what will be the revised estimate per unit? If value engineering is applied. Value engineering means trying to come out with something new. Okay, that was not there in the product. In this case, trying to be using a cheaper material. That will help you to reduce your cost. Okay, so give me my options, please. 45,000 rupees per statue. Okay, 42,500 rupees per statue. 30,250 per statue and 43,000 rupees per statue. Pick up your calcies. New cost I've already discussed. Total it up on your calci and get me the new cost. Comment. Okay, now see, what I'll try to be doing, I'll have old cost and I'll have new cost over here. Design cost was 5 lakhs, no change in that. Direct material cost was 20 lakhs, we'll reduce it, I guess, by 60%, uh, so therefore uh, 8 lakhs. Direct labor cost will get reduced by 50%, so 12 and a half lakhs. Rest, all the costs have remained same, absolutely no difference over here, okay. So, total originally was 85 lakhs. Now, total will become 60,50,000. This is the cost for how many statues, beta? 
200 statues divide it on your calci please so therefore that comes to 30250 so therefore if this value engineering is applied at that time your cost will be falling down to 30250 so c should be your correct answer yeah that is the correct one let's proceed over to our next mcq this is mcq number 5 given your calculations in 1 and 4 in 1 our target cost was 33750 in 4, our cost is 30,250. So, they are asking you, has the target cost per statue been met? Okay, two options, yes. Uh, B option, no. Okay, I am giving you one second for commenting. Okay, so target cost was 33,750, beta. That was in part number one. But actual cost now, based upon like, you know, value engineering, it has come down to 30,250. So has a target been met? Of course, yes. So therefore, A should be the correct answer. Okay, that is the correct one. Okay, let's proceed. MCQ number six. Raj, the designer, does not agree with Jay's proposition given in four above. Now, what had Jay told? Use cheaper material that will reduce labor cost also and that will reduce our cost to 30,250. But Raj, the designer, he says, no, we are not going to be doing that. He feels that inferior quality of the material because he wanted to use the cheaper material. Okay, that cheaper marble. He feels inferior quality material would affect the durability of the statue and hence would affect the demand in the long run. Obviously, if you use cheaper materials, marble might crack. It might happen. Okay, so therefore, statue will completely collapse on me. So therefore, demand will also be shrinking in the long run. Instead of value engineering, he feels that 10% increased spending in marketing can increase the selling price of the statue to 50,000 rupees. Originally, we wanted to sell it at 45. So what is Raj thinking? Let's increase the marketing spending by 10%. Demand will build up because of the advertisement. We can increase our selling price from 45 to 50,000. The target profit is 25% of revenue. Given this scenario, what is the target cost per statue? It's same as part one, numbers have changed. So therefore, now your target selling price is 50,000. And uh, you all want 25% uh, profit. So four options, 33,750, 37,500, 35,000 and 36,250. You can comment the correct answer. Simple it is, like your part one. Okay, so your target selling price is now 50,000. From there, subtract your profit at the rate of 25%. So therefore, you will arrive at your target cost. That is 37,500. So therefore, answer should be B. That should be the correct answer. Okay, that's it about this question. Let's proceed further. MCQ number 7. Lot of questions here. Given the situation in 6, what will be the revised cost, revised estimated cost per statue after increasing the spend on marketing? Okay, bring me the four options. 45,000 rupees per statue, 42,500 rupees per statue, 30,250 and lastly 43,000 rupees per statue. So what I'll try to be doing, I'll present in front of you original cost and then the cost based upon earlier suggestion. That was value engineering, whereby we had reduced the material cost and the labor cost. And then I'll present this cost. Okay, see. You can try to be computing and comment at this stage. I think I'll proceed now. So, these are the costs that are already there. The one in the first column, whose total is 85 lakhs. This was original. We use cheaper materials and cheaper labor. Okay, our cost fell down to 60 lakh 50 thousand. But let's see the suggestion of the designer now. He says all the costs we will keep same only except marketing costs. So, 5 lakhs has remained 5 lakhs. 20 lakhs originally has remained 20 lakhs. This thing has still remained 25 lakhs. This thing has still remained 20 lakhs. This thing has still remained 5 lakhs. And marketing cost will be increasing by 10%. So, therefore, it becomes 11 lakhs. So, total cost will, of course, now become 86 lakhs. For how many statues, beta? 200. So, therefore, your final cost will be 43,000 rupees per statue. So, answer should be D over here. Yeah, that is the correct one. MCQ number 8. Given your calculations in 6 and 7, has the target cost per statue been met? Okay. Yes, again, D no. Recall your answer to 6 and 7 and please comment for the correct answer. Okay. 
ओके सी टारगेट कॉस्ट इन सिक्स वॉज थर्टी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड बट द एक्चुअल कॉस्ट इन सेवन वॉज आई गेस फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड सो दे फॉर हैज अ टारगेट बीन मेट नो आर टारगेट वॉज रिड्यूसिंग द कॉस्ट टू थर्टी सेवन फाइव हंड्रेड बीटा आर कॉस्ट वॉज फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड सो दे फॉर टारगेट हैज नॉट बीन मेट ओके सो आंसर शुड बी बी ओके दैट इज नो द एस्टिमेटेड कॉस्ट uh after increase spend on marketing is higher than the targeted cost okay that's mcq number 8 for you let's do mcq number 9 what is the estimated profit earned per statue as per 4 adopting value engineering whereby we will decrease our material and labor cost and 6 that is increasing marketing spend do remember originally our selling price was supposed to be 45000 But now, after increasing the marketing spend, we are planning to increase the selling price to fifty thousand. Keep that thing in mind because we'll require the profits. So the four options are: profit as per four is fourteen and fifty as per six is seven thousand. Then it is two thousand five hundred and seven thousand. Then it is eleven two fifty and twelve thousand five hundred. So let's compute it. No, that'll be far better. Uh, you can comment in case you all have written down all the numbers at this stage. Okay, so now your answer in this case should be like this: selling price less cost gives you profit. You want to be computing profits, no? Okay, so selling price minus cost will fetch you profit. Let's see originally part four. In part four, our selling price was supposed to be forty-five thousand. Our cost at that time, by following that value engineering model, we all had dropped it down to thirty thousand two fifty. So therefore, our profit in this case was fourteen thousand two fifty. When we shift over to part seven, I guess sorry, part six. In part six, our selling price had to be increased to fifty thousand. Our cost was forty three thousand, I guess. So therefore, our profit was seven thousand rupees. So our final answers are fourteen to fifty and seven thousand. I guess that is your answer to part A of the question. So answer is A over here. That should be the correct one. Yeah, that is the correct answer. That's it about this entire question. Now, such questions you all can always expect that these are basically examination type questions, whereby a case study is there, and then there are a lot of MCQ questions that are based upon this. Such things will be relevant for all your subjects also. So ensure that you all pay more attention to such case study based questions. Okay, I'll see you next time in another question. Till then, take care, guys. Bye.